Happy Wednesday. Hashtag my global family. It's your favorite coyote. I better be your favorite coyote. <laughs> How many coyotes do y'all have in your lives? Anyways, I'm just saying I better be the favorite. Family, I had a good night. I stayed up till 4.30, finishing, uploading all my videos <coughs> since July to current. So it took me, I don't know, what is that, like eight hours, 10 hours last night, family. But I finally uploaded and, um, you know, updated my YouTube channel, which is a huge deal because that's my doctoral blogging project, literally. My dissertation, my work, is literally these videos, family. Think about that. You can be a superhero like me, go create change, and make the PhD that fits your life. I'm just saying, family, be a revolutionary with this coyote. I don't tell the world what, uh, I don't let the world tell me what to do. I tell the world what this coyote has planned. <laughs> I'm just saying, family. Push back. Resistance does empower us. So let's get started because my mama bear is coming over to help me uh, tidy love of my life's office. I'll be honest, family. Raising a company, a nonprofit, a vlogging dissertation project, it takes a lot of room of your house. <laughs> and I fill all the rooms with our stuff. And I use them for filming, and our entire house is a studio. So I owe my partner one room, family, one room, besides a bedroom, in our house that he can call sanctuary. So I'm going to take that on next after we finish our yoga. Yay, family time. Yay, calling on our family to help us when we have tasks, right? I was like, Mama, can you help me clean, clean out Neil's office? And she's like, I'll be right over. I'll be honest, family. I think my family loves my husband more than me. Just kidding, just kidding. But I got jokes. But for real, um, my partner is the 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 best person that I know, honestly. Anywho, family, let's get started. And today we have a yoga for flexibility yeah. practice. So a lot of times people think they have to go to class for long periods of time in a really sweaty environment and slam their bodies into poses to gain flexibility. And that is one way of doing it and it does work. But another way is by slowly edging away at creating space mindfully. So this is a practice you can bookmark and you can do with other practices. Most of it's floor work to help you slowly but surely create space and become more flexible. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. Flexibility is key, family. I'm going to be 120 and still be able to touch my toes. Let's begin seated today. Come on down to the ground, sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna start with a little movement for the head and the neck. So take a second to get settled in, but when you're ready, you're gonna begin by drawing small circles with the nose. So go ahead and establish one way. And as you start to draw your circles, begin to Become a little more aware of your breath. And then reverse your circle. Take it the other way. I'm joined today by my wonderful assistant, Benji. All right, take one more cycle of breath here. Just creating a little space in the neck and the shoulders. And then when you feel satisfied, bring it back to center. And we're just gonna come into alignment here for a moment. Find stillness, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Maybe lean back a bit or sit up tall. Just be aware of this line of the spine that carries you. And then take a moment here. I invite you to close your eyes and just notice how you feel today, what your energy's like because at the very least, you're gonna get a great stretch today, something you can repeat regularly to increase flexibility. But going a bit further, you have an opportunity to also practice flexibility in mind, balancing the energy so you can go with the flow, be flexible, all right? Mm -hmm. Open. Mm -hmm. 
with the eyes closed, take one more moment here in your meditation posture to just be still and to notice, observe. Nice. Then we'll bat the eyelashes open and we're going to start by taking the left hand and we're just going to take it all the way over towards the right side of the body and use the right hand to guide it a little further into the stretch. Most of us have come across this stretch in gym class. The yogic version keeps an awareness up through the spine, heart lifted. Take a deep breath in. If you want to go a little more, turn your gaze towards the left side of your yoga mat or your shoulder. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale to release and switch. Lifting up through the sternum, the heart. Continuing to add that layer of breath. And then if you like, you can look past your right shoulder. Beautiful. Come back to center. Right hand's going to come to left elbow. And then you're going to guide it up and over. A little Vogue moment here. You can take the left hand to the back body. Sit up nice and tall. Big stretch. Big breath. And then release. Left hand to the right elbow. Bring it up and over. Vogue. And then big breath. Big stretch. Big opening through that rotator cuff, lifting the chest, awesome, and then release. Beautiful. Hands are going to come to the knees here. We're just going to inhale, smooth the heart forward, and then exhale, round it through. You're going to get a booty massage here. We're going to start to wake up through the hip sockets, but also a little spinal flex. Think cat-cow here. So inhale, come forward, and exhale around and back. Also really great for digestion. We're going to reverse the circle. Inhale, come forward. And exhale around and back. Inhale, come forward. And exhale around and back. Awesome. Sit up nice and tall. Now you're gonna turn on your mat if you're not if you're not already there so that you can send your legs out long. Great. Then bend the knees just a bit. Inhale to reach for the sky and exhale to send it forward. Pashit Mottanasana with bent knees. Round through the spine, close your eyes. Stay open here, present with the sensation. And then in time, you can work to straighten the legs. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. All right, so good for the legs, the lower back. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, feel the skin of your back stretch. Let it be that connected. Yes, and then breathe out. Let's do one more for the kidneys. Big conscious inhale, feel it. And release. Awesome work. Slowly begin to roll it back up. And we're going to come all the way to our backs. Yay! So we're going to use the support of the earth here. So come onto your back and right away. You're going to hug the knees up into the chest and give yourself a great big hug and feel your lower back nice and flush with the mat. Feel the glutes stretch. You might rock a little side to side. Tuck the chin. Continue to breathe nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Great, then you're gonna hug the right knee in and slowly send the left leg out. So one knee in, one knee out, one leg up. Then release the left heel to the earth if you haven't already. And you're gonna press into your left thigh bone. In fact, go ahead and bring your left hand to the top of your left hip crease. And then we're gonna squeeze the right knee all the way up and in. Now, take nice, steady breaths here, cycles of breath in and out, in and out. You might close your eyes. Beautiful, then slide your hands now to interlace the fingers behind your right thigh. Then you're gonna inhale, extend the right leg up high. Exhale, bend the right knee, just bring it to a nice right angle. Keep it going, inhale to extend, flex your toes towards your face. 
and then exhale and at the knee. Inhale to extend and exhale, bend. Now it's okay if you're not able to extend all the way, just come to your edge, moving with your breath. Great, and on this last round, we're gonna point the left toes and then we're gonna point the right toes. You're just gonna do one more with the toes pointed. Awesome work. Now, from here, we're gonna bend the left knee. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. And then you're gonna interlace the fingertips behind the left hamstring this time. And we come to thread the needle here. If you wanna find some soft, easy movement here that feels awesome, you can. And if you wanna extend the left leg up high here, you can. Breathe deep, squeeze your legs in towards your heart, your chest. Just really take this time for you. Enjoy. Feel supported by the earth. We'll slowly release the left foot to the ground. You're gonna unravel, and then you're gonna send the right leg out all the way, and then squeeze the left knee up towards your chest. Now, take your right hand, bring it to the top of your right hip crease. You'll find your foundation here, nice and firm in the right thigh bone down to the earth, flex your right toes. Great, and then squeeze left knee up towards the chest, pause here, just playing with your breath, nice, easy inhales in, long exhales as you breathe out. Try not to isolate just the area that you feel is being stretched. See if you can close your eyes and see the body as one moving part. Great. Now, interlace the fingertips behind the left thigh. We got it. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, bending the knee, nice right angle, or what feels like a right angle. Inhale, lift it up, find your extension, and exhale to bend. Moving with your breath. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale to bend. If you feel, if you're quite flexible and you feel like this isn't enough, close your eyes and really pay attention to the subtle body actions here as you move with your breath. Great, do one more inhale to find your extension. And then exhale, we'll release. We're gonna bend the right knee, cross the left ankle over the top of the right thigh, and then thread the needle, interlace, squeeze and lift up towards the chest, the heart. Of course, you can extend that leg here if you like, bringing more spaciousness into the hamstring, or stick with the hip stretch by squeezing, squeezing in towards the chest. Breathe deep. Beautiful, take one more inhale. And then we'll slowly unravel. All right, left leg goes out, right leg hugs in. You're gonna take your hand, bring it to the outer edge of your right foot. Left hand comes to the front of the left hip crease again, and we do a half stirrup posture here, or a half happy baby. Now you're gonna pull the right knee down, stay firm in that left thigh bone, breathe deep here. Tuck the chin just slightly, then return to that conscious cycle of breath here. Nice, easy breath. The right hamstring's getting some sunshine. Mm, opening up through that hip, staying connected through that core, finding that core stability always. Sweet, then slowly you're gonna release that. You're gonna guide your right knee all the way in and then over towards the left side for a supine twist. Take a deep breath in here, and a long breath out. Then bring it back up through center, send the right leg out, and we'll balance it out on the other side. Here we go, hug the left knee in, and you're gonna take your left hand, bring it to the outer edge of your left foot. Right hand comes to the top of the thigh bone, and here we go, check out. Stirrup posture on this side. So many of us, you know, the right and the left side of the body are not the same. We don't use them the same way, the same 
um, duration. So just notice how they're different and tend to it. Stay present with your breath. Great posture to go ahead and continue with our theme of just releasing, letting go this month, clearing the path. All right, slowly release, moving mindfully, hug your left knee into the chest, and then continue to guide it all the way over into your supine twist. Close your eyes. Inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out. Awesome. Slowly come back to center. You're gonna let both legs lay out long now. Inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. Nice full body stretch here. And you're going to point the toes and you're going to bring the hands into a fist. And we're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze everything. Engage your thighs, engage your core. Take a deep breath in. And then release the hands and arms. Bring them down. Release the toes and ankles. Let everything soften and be jelly like. Close your eyes here and just take a moment in. Shavasana, the corpse pose, to relax everything, to open your heart, open your mind, and reset. Let your breath just be soft and easy. And we just take a quiet moment here to surrender. It's one way we can increase our flexibility move with more ease by taking a moment to surrender to the big picture, remembering and understanding that surrender is important, that we cannot control everything. We do not control everything. Stay here if you like, or if you're ready, we'll bring the palms together, bring the thumbs up to the third eye, wiggle the toes, lift the corners of your mouth slightly, start to wag your tail a little bit on the ground. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, nice cleansing breath out through the mouth. Beautiful. The light in me recognizes the light in you. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your practice with me and with everyone around the world practicing here together. I'll see you next time. Nice. Was well, that amazing family? I'm just saying, who feels like they could do anything? I do, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> just kidding. But I have big, grandiose plans, family. I'm going to clean the love of my life's office. So when he comes and he does work from home on Fridays, yes, he has a space to call his own. I'm going to go hang out with my family. And I'm going to get some real work done today, family. I'm behind on so much work. But before we go, don't forget this coyote, in addition to be a medical marijuana advocate, a critical race whiteness, intersectional scholar, an Ivy League graduate, and a published author, I'm also a pastor. So join me in setting an intention for the day, family. And if you are not a praying person or a spiritual person, go ahead and just set an intention. I love you all. Gammy. It's your favorite trickster coyote grandchild. I've been up to tricks, but it's helpful and it's humanizing work to address trauma and help lift up people. You know I'm on your mission, Gammy. So send us your blessings because you know all of your community members around the world are fighting to make the world better for us all. Send us your blessings, Gammy, and some of that fierce personality so we know that we are amazing warriors. Dear Papa, you were human kindness embodied. Send us some of that kindness, Papa. We all need a safe, sp a safe space to decompress at the end of the day. 
I love you, Papa. Send all of your warriors their safe space. And to my great great grandpa Pablo Aveda, true revolutionary and a Sleta Pueblo statesman. Dear sir, you rank with presidents and institutions, and it feels like they are here to just dehumanize us, control us, and make money off us. So, Papa, I don't know how you did it, but send us wisdom so that we can understand how to navigate these modern systems, but do it in a humanizing way that gives all of our families opportunities and love. And to all the rest of our ancestors, our aunties, uncles, cousins, yammies, papas, um, related blood and adopted, those of you who made us feel special and human, may you all rest in peace. Family, it's a brand new day. It's Wednesday and we have so many amazing things we can tackle. I am going to go forth and do some of my to-do lists, family. I saw a post the other day and it was like, anxiety, do you know how to banish thee? <laughs> Yeah, do your to-do list. So I'm going to go chip away at that family. Mwah! I love you. And I'm off to cause trouble somewhere else. <laughs> See you soon.